Okay, so yesterday we had a request from one of our subscribers to make a video dealing with intercepting VR radials. So here is your explanation. And remember that if you have any questions relating to aviation, whether on the written test, which is our specialty, or just aeronautical concepts that you find difficult to grasp, drop us an email at lucas at pilottrainingsolutions.com or simply post a comment and we will be glad to simplify the concept for you. Now, let's get to intercepting a given radial from a VOR. Now, let's say that you are on a 210 radial from a VOR and are tracking to it on a 030 heading. So for this video, let's just say that the winds are negligible. Here comes ATC advising you of an active restricted area that stands between you and the VOR. So they tell you to intercept the 180 radial and track it to the station. Remember that a radial is always from the station, and since we have to go to it, we will be flying the reciprocal, a heading of 360. So the first thing to do is obviously to twist the OBS until we have 360 on the top. Now, what heading should we fly to intercept that radial? Well, in general, the angle of intercept is based on the distance to the station. When far away, you should use a big angle, and when close, a small one. If you are unsure on your distance to the station, your best bet is to use a 45 degree angle of intercept. And by the way, 45 degrees is nearly always a perfect intercept angle, unless you are extremely close to the station. Now, how do we easily identify the 45 degree angle of intercept, the heading we need to fly to intercept that radial? Well, it's actually extremely simple. If you look at the VOR receiver, you will notice that there is a small triangle on each side of the instrument, as highlighted by the animations. Now, if you count the degrees from the top to the triangles, they are exactly 45. So the triangles are pointing to the 45 degree intercept angles, in this case 045 and 315, as shown again by the animation. Which one of the two do we choose? Well. That should be obvious even if you are unfamiliar with our methods. Decide where the needle is. Our heading is going to be 045. So first let's switch the heading bug to 045 and then let's actually turn to 045. We keep flying that heading until we see some movement on the needle. Once the needle moves in we simply turn back to north, our heading to the station. Tracking outbound is just as simple. Let's say that once we pass the station, ATC comes back again and warns us of heavy military traffic inside the MOA just north of the VOR and advises us that tracking outbound on the 330 radial would be a much safer course of action. So again, like we did before, first let's twist the OBS until 330 is on the top of the instrument. Then we notice the heading on the left triangle, this time as the needle is on the left side. Then we twist the heading bug to 285, the number on the left triangle, and we turn the bug to 285 and turn the airplane itself to 285. Like we did before, we keep flying on 285 until the needle starts to center, at which point we start heading back to 330. And voila, we're now out of harm's way. And again, don't forget to visit pilottrainingsolutions.com for our latest videos and to download our free demos which will show you a much easier way to pass the FAA knowledge tests, all filled with tricks such as the one you've just seen. And remember, if you have any topics that need to be explained in an easier way for you, just drop us a line at pts at pilottrainingsolutions.com or just write a comment. We are always happy to answer all of your questions and aviation needs.